Hi students, welcome. In this video, we will understand how to use relationship between CP and CV to find out change in internal energy and enthalpy. So students, we will first read out the question. So here question is 10 kg of air is heated in the rigid vessel vessel from 20 degree Celsius to 100 degree Celsius if the ratio of specific heats is 1.4 estimate the values of cp cv and change in internal energy and enthalpy okay now students here we will we'll first write down the given data here here 10 kg mass of air is here so mass is equal to 10 kg and here see ratio of specific heats is 1.4 that is cp upon cv which is equal to gamma which is equal to 1.4 okay now here air is heated from 20 degree celsius to 100 degree celsius so here t1 is 20 degree celsius which is equal to 293 kelvin that is 20 plus 273 which is equal to here 293 kelvin okay now second here t2 that is the second temperature is t2 which is equal to 100 degree celsius and which is equal to 373 kelvin that is 100 plus 273 which is equal to 373 kelvin okay now here we need to find out cp cv delta u that is change in internal energy okay and uh, here delta h that is a change in enthalpy okay now here see we know the specific heats relation which is here cp minus cv is equal to r it is one relation cp minus cv is equal to r it is one relation and uh, Second relation is Cp upon Cv is equal to gamma. Okay. Now we will write down this Cp minus Cv is equal to gamma as you can see here Cp is equal to gamma into Cv. This Cv goes here. Okay. Now see we will put this Cp value in our equation number 1. So from that we will get here gamma Cv minus cv is equal to r now we will take out this cv term outside that is here cv into bracket gamma minus 1 is equal to r from that we will get he this now from this we will get here cv this term that is gamma minus 1 will go to the right side that is to the denominator so here now cv is equal to r upon gamma minus 1 okay now see here students in this equation we will now put the values from that we will get here cv that is specific heat at constant volume cv is a specific heat at constant volume and cp is a specific heat at constant pressure okay now we will calculate put the values r the value of r that is specific gas constant for air is as we know here 0.287 kilojoule per kg kelvin this is the predetermined value of r so here this uh, we taken it directly this value that is r specific he gas constant for air is given by the value 0 0.287 kilojoule per kg kelvin now we have here gamma that is 1.4 minus 1 okay we have put here values from the those values after calculating we will get here cv is equal to 0 0.7175 kilojoule per kg kelvin okay now here we got answer that of cv that is specific heat at constant volume okay now further here we will use our this relation here cv minus cv is equal to r 
okay now we will simplify this equation that is cp is equal to cv plus r now we will put the values of cv and r that is cv value of cv is here this that so here cp is equal to value of cv 0 0.7175 plus value of r that is a specific gas constant for a 0 0.287 okay now after calculating this okay adding these two values we will get here cp that is a specific heat at constant pressure is equal to 0.1 sorry 1.0045 kilojoule per kg kelvin this is our answer okay now here we got second answer that is a specific heat at constant pressure that is cp is equal to 1.0045 kilojoule per kg kelvin now further here we will calculate here change in internal energy that is delta u its formula is m cv t2 minus tv t1 okay now we have here the value of m that is 10 kg we have cv here value of cv we got here that is this one and t2 have here we have 373 and t1 have 293 now we will all put all those values in this equation as you can see okay this is minus sign 373 minus 293 okay now that that is here we will put here values m is equal to 10 into cv is equal to 0.7175 into into bracket this t1 my t2 minus t1 that is t2 is 373 minus 293 okay now after solving this uh, equation we will get here answer delta u that is change in internal energy is equal to 574 kilojoule okay this is our answer okay now we will see here change in enthalpy change in enthalpy is given by this symbol that is delta h is equal to its formula is m cp t2 minus t1 okay now we will put the again put all the values we have here cp this uh, cp value is this one so now we will put all the values we have put here now after calculating we will get here delta h that is change in enthalpy is equal to 803.6 kilojoule okay this is our answer so students in this video we have understood how to use the relationship between cp and cv to calculate change in internal energy and change in enthalpy thank you students for watching this video like share and comment for this video and subscribe my channel thank you